So I really wanted to sort of hear that through your lens and your experience and what you think uh, of our young Asian women should know um, that you think is very uh, specific to how you move up uh, and how you build confidence in yourself and your skills. Mm -hmm. Um, again, I think everybody's experience is different. I came from um, an immigrant family and, you know, my mom and my parents kind of went through the Vietnam War. And so their uh, parenting style was very much from a psychological safety net, you know, like do your work, put your head down, don't shake the boat too much because, you know, you, you should be lucky to, you should feel lucky that you even have a job in like an office and it's, you know, not hard labor. Um, and so I think just knowing and, and taking stock of that uh, parenting, like that programming that you've gotten from your parents, right? And realizing like that's no longer um, hold, it no longer serves you. Um, and so that's something that I had to obviously recognize and then learn and then unlearn. Um, and so I think that's what a lot of people should probably do because again, not just to say, I think this is not just an Asian thing, but it just comes from, you know, the, the very fact of immigrant, like the reason why a lot of people do immigrate is to get away from some sort of danger or to, for a better, um, but they don't shed that thinking, right? They, they only seek safety and comfort. Um, and that's the opposite of progressing and growing. And so I think if I were to have kept that programming, it would have really hindered my progress in terms of um, not only just like going, you know, climbing the ladder, but also just empowering myself to speak up and like asking for a raise or negotiating my salary or negotiating benefits. And so I would say, first off, understand what your programming was, because it could have been really awesome. And you know, you, you have all the support behind you. Um, but more often than not, and this is a lot of conversations I've had with female friends is, you know, our parents are, have taught us to just quiet, just listen, don't, don't argue. Um, I would say, yeah, first recognize that and then realize that um, you might not see it yet because you might not have that representation in your life, but you can be that representation in your life. And I think that's so important. That, I mean, I, I'm saying this out loud because I'm like, I need to remind myself of that too. Um, I'm very lucky in that Wattpad is a very diverse company, both um, from an employee perspective and at a leadership level. And so, um, I, I do see myself reflected at that. So our GM is uh, Jenny Lab, who is just super talented, and she, um, you know, is a, an Asian woman. Um, our CPO is uh, Seema Lakani, who is um, also a woman of color, and my boss is uh, Andrew Chak, who is a man of color. And so it's just really, really nice to see that. Um, but again, you have to. The work I think starts from yourself. Um, and knowing that program that you have, but also um, finding a company that reflects your values, but then also you can see yourself reflected in them and the leadership team. Like you mentioned, it's so important to see yourself at the, you know, reflect at the leadership level because there could be a million of you at the IC level, but if you don't see yourself that possibility there, then you might never want to aspire um, for that.